Hi everyone! In this video, we'll learn how to install a MicroTIC router on Panet Lab. Before we dive in, let's go over the network diagram to get a clearer picture. In this video, the MicroTIC router will have two network interfaces. Ethernet 1 will be connected to VMNet 8 in VMware, which corresponds to Cloud 1 in Panet Lab. Ethernet 2 will be connected to VMNet 11 in VMware, which corresponds to Cloud 4 in Panet Lab. In the next step, we'll break this down more clearly. Looks a bit messy at first, right? First, we need to configure the virtual network editor to create two virtual networks. VMNet 8 is configured in NAT mode with DHCP enabled, allowing the MicroTIC router to access the Internet through the host. VMNet 11 is configured in host-only mode to simulate a local network. In this step, we'll review the virtual network adapters used by the NetLab VM. PNET Lab is already configured with two network adapters, one connected to VMNet 8 and the other to VMNet 11. Keep these two windows open. We'll come back to them in a moment. In this step, we'll assign a static IP address to VMNet 11 on the host, so we can later access the MicroTIC LAN network. Everything's ready to go. Let's jump into PNET Lab and set up a new lab project. Now, right click on the workspace and select Node to add a device to the lab. Select the MicroTIC Router OS that we added earlier. Next, we'll add a cloud node to simulate the WAN side for the MicroTIC router. Let's rename this cloud node. I'll name it WAN to make things easier to manage. The bridge setting here is crucial. Make sure to match the correct cloud number with the network adapter number configured in PNETLAB. Be very careful with the network settings in PNETLAB. If you choose the wrong cloud to adapter mapping, your devices won't connect properly. Just like we did with the WAN, now we'll add another cloud node to represent the LAN 11 network. This cloud node is used to simulate the LAN 11 network, and it's linked to VMNet 11, which is Cloud 4 in Panet Lab. Now, let's connect the MicroTIC router to the cloud nodes to complete the network topology.
All right, the network topology is now complete. We've got MicroTIC connected to both WAN and LAN 11. First, let's power on the MicroTIC device. Now, we'll use WinBox to log in and start configuring the device. On first login, there's no password set. Make sure to change it immediately for security. To keep things organized, I'll change the interface names to something more meaningful. As you can see, VMNet 8 is set up with DHCP, so Ether1 on the MicroTIC router will automatically receive an IP address from this network. Now we'll assign an IP address to the LAN 11 interface. Interfaces are ready. Let's configure NAT so that LAN 11 clients can access the Internet, a crucial step for any network setup. Go to IP greater than firewall, then click on the NATI tab. This is where we'll set up the address translation. All right, done, good luck.